How long have you had cancer? Four months now. Ali was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and given only seven months to live. Upon finding the news, he immediately sold his successful business and was forced to reconsider the lavish lifestyle he was accustomed to. Everything was to change. Ali, what was your reaction when you came to know you had cancer? I got rid of my, my cars, I got rid of my watches, even my clothes. I took them with me overseas and I, and I gave them to a lot of people up there. So I wanted to try to leave this world without anything. So you're on a mission to get rid of your dunya. It wasn't until Ali invited us into his room that we truly understood the luxurious lifestyle that he was living and the extent of the sacrifice that he was making. What's all this Ali? Talk to me, explain this. It's stuff. a bracelet, yani. Cost about 60, 60,000. 60,000 dollars? Yeah. What do you have in these boxes? Huh? They're all my shoes. Alhamdulillah. Louis Vuitton? All Louis Vuitton. How much is something like this worth, Ali? They're probably about 1300 How much you pay for that, Ali? About 700 Ali's interest in the dunya has left him abruptly and no longer holds a place in his heart. So Ali, what do you feel now, like, when you look at this? And driving something like this doesn't really cross my mind anymore. It's not, yeah, it's not something I would want to do no more. After someone tells you or you find out that you're sick or you haven't got much time in this life, well, this is the last thing yeah, you would want to chase. And this, this is how we should be living our life every day. Car like this, people would love to be in it. People would love to own it. People would love to drive it. Well, they're going for the wrong goals. And you realize that when you get sick, when someone tells you you haven't got long to live, you realize all this stuff it does not benefit us in any Ali way. Ali has since dedicated the remainder of his life and wealth to helping those who are far less fortunate than him. After an emotional journey to Africa, Ali has established a charity titled Muslims Around the World Project. The organization wasted no time in the construction of a masjid and a school in Africa to serve as an ongoing charity for him when he finally has to depart this world. As the reality of death further sinks in, Ali spends most of his personal time in preparing himself for his final meeting with his Creator, Allah. The Prophet of Allah says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, more or less, he says, He who loves to meet Allah, Allah loves to meet him. And he who hates to meet Allah, Allah hates to meet him. I actually seen things I've never seen before. And my family were there all standing around me, and I was pointing up and I was saying, and he, Ya Allah, take me. And it, it was that beautiful what I was seeing. I just wanted to go. And the next day, subhanAllah, I woke up and I was upset that Allah didn't take me. For the people that are out there that are sick or worried or stressed, so I say to you people, don't worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you people that you've never expected. If you really need someone, you just have to have trust that the one calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember when you're in that grave, inshallah, that you'll be getting rewarded for everything they've done for the people they've uh, brought to Islam. And uh, inshallah, that'll help on the day of judgment. يداي نزعت أسرار قلبي وجبت ألقي أسايا رباه عفوك إني للنور مدت يداي نزعت أسرار قلبي وجبت ألقي أسايا